Let's put some fire in this rocket. Let's push it to the heavens. All eyes on Boeing Starliner. The space capsule perched atop a United Launch Alliance rocket at Cape Canaveral this morning. And liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V, carrying two American heroes. Blazing into the skies with a crew on board for the first time. Stars for all of us. Veteran astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams on a mission to the International Space Station. Celebrations as Starliner and its crew reached orbit on track to dock with the ISS tomorrow. When we expand our fleet of spacecraft, what we're doing is expanding our reach to the stars. After NASA's decision to partner with private companies to take crews to the International Space Station, this milestone moment coming after years of delays. Boeing Starliner behind schedule and over budget. A failed uncrewed test flight in 2019 plagued with software glitches. More recently, launches delayed due to a parachute that wouldn't hold the weight of the capsule after re-entry and flammable tape in the capsule that needed to be replaced. And today's launch comes after setbacks with the ULA rocket, including a helium leak and a valve issue led to a canceled launch in May. Proceed with a scrub. Then last week's attempt stopped with less than four minutes before launch due to a software problem. The vehicle's trajectory continues to look good. Today, no room for error as Boeing has been at the center of controversy for the company's commercial aircraft issues. The infamous door plug blowout earlier this year, costing Boeing in production delays and reputation. But tonight, a congratulations from Elon Musk, founder and CEO of rival SpaceX, which has been NASA's main way to send astronauts to the ISS for the last four years. Starliner paving the way for a new chapter in space travel. And Marissa, where does today's launch put the competition among private companies in the space industry? Well, Lester, SpaceX is still far ahead. It's mega rocket Starship set for launch from Texas tomorrow morning. It's fourth uncrewed test for NASA's overall mission to return astronauts to the moon. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.